Here we are. This little nasty thing, you know. Uh, I've been camping, so just got back. Um. Hey guys, Sam here. Welcome to a uh, Marvel Select figure review. This is my second Marvel Select that I've got. This is the uh, Captain America from the first Avenger movie figure. So, uh, if you can hear some whirring in the background, it's a fan because it's absolutely less smoking in my room at the moment so apologies for that uh, let's jump in to see the figure the detail on this figure is incredible the head sculpt is lovely it's captured it very well I'll get onto the articulation in a minute but first we'll look at the detail his torso is very well done with different textures as you can see here very nice and the nice stars in this sort of uh, yeah, love, lovely sculpts and the painting on this is incredible. The uh, ooh, yeah, sculpted star here and all the creases and light picks up quite nicely. There's loads of creases all over this uh, and on the sleeves as well. Little bits of dirt on the on the on the shirt on the white. So it's, it's got a nice darker wash over it. Uh, on the arms, it's slightly, it's not really brown, it's sort of maroon, it, it may look brown in this sort of lighting on the camera, but it is slightly maroony gloves, which is very nice actually, which works well. Uh, looking at the straps down here, the uh, white, red, white pattern works very nice, and the belt is very, very good detail, if we just move his arms up so we can get full seat. This love, lovely detail on the buckles and everything. Painting. Oh, the belt is very nice, as you can see. So, got little, even this little sculpt around the side and the holes. As you can see, we've, on the back, we've got his, we've got his strap here. Won't stand up. There we are. Uh, where in the movie is. Uh, the shield slides on. Unfortunately, uh, with this one, you can't slide it on, which is a little bit annoying. But so the trousers are really nicely creased as well in certain places. We've got a holster here with a little removable gun, which I'll go into a little. Here we are. Don't fall over. Don't fall over there. A uh, little gun. With... Is it gonna focus? There we are. Lovely detail on this, sort of grey, the dark wash to bring out all the detail on it. The other side as well, there we are. So that just slides into his holster. There we go. back to detail, there we are. So we've got a nice, there's a pattern going along it, you might be able to see it as the light catches it along here. On, a, on each side of it, covered by the holster strap a little bit. Uh, very nice, the detail goes all the way around the creases and if you can't see it very well, maybe, maybe I'll sculpted ball joints which is very nice, only a little bit but it does add to the, to the real realisation of it moving down to the boots, there we are uh, lovely, you can see the strap, it's also the maroon colour like the gloves Lots and lots of crinkles around here, like they're just like they're tucked into the boots, which is very nice. Love the colour they've gone for these, and the detail on this is incredible with all the straps and it's amazing. And oh, you see, a uh, little got your peg holes, peg holes there, you are. and a certain bit of detail on the shoe, which is nice for grip. Right, so the head articulation is very, very good actually. We've got side to side, could do a 360. The head moves up really far. Look at that, pretty dang good. Um, and down, like that. I'm disappointed. Um, we've got ball joint arms, a single jointed elbow, a 360 at the wrists same on the other side 
we have a swivel at the chest, uh, no hip articulation, which is a little bit of a bummer. You got ball joints, like I said, over here. Um, this one's a little bit twisted, unfortunately, which go up, out, and right, and spin round. Double jointed knees, which is nice to see. Go back even further. Playing football, or oh, American football, soccer. Uh, <laughs> um, then you got a little, only a little bit of articulation around here. That does a 360, as you can see, and goes up and down. Oh dear, a little bit of paint, a little bit of blue paint there, which is a little annoying. Never mind, you're never even going to see it. And no swivel. This is a little bit of an older figure, so yeah. Right, let's have a look at the shield. Lovely detail, actually. I like the colours that they went round because it's not really white; it's sort of silvery like this. Like the star, and it is sculpted. The little star's got a nice little creases in it, and it's very nice. One little gripe about it: a little tight. You, can't, you probably can't even see it. Is he gonna focus? Is it gonna focus? There we go. Tiny little chip off there. But as you can see, look at the detail. They're very nicely done there. One little gripe, and oh, on the back as well. Forgot about that. All the little straps, which are very nicely done here. Little gripe. Uh, Cap always holds his shield. Um, with his with his left hand, and it doesn't fit because this bit, this little strap, is too small. So if 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 I put it on now, da -da -da -da, there, see, doesn't doesn't go over. It only fits on his no, hang on, you only yeah, he only fits on his left hand, which is this. One. What I got wrong the last time. Anyway, which is a little bit annoying because the gun, which I already showed you, only fits in his left hand as well. So if you want him to have him posing with him and his shield like in the trailer, you can't really because you got to sort of have it angled a little bit. So uh, this is one of his poses that I sort of. Got him into where I, I normally have him in this pose when he's on the shelf. Um, his throwing pose, obviously. Um, a little bit distracting is the straps down here, doesn't look quite right. But yeah, I mean, he does look incredible standing up. One little thing, his head does look quite big. I'm not sure if you can, in on the camera, it doesn't look too bad, but in real life, you're sort of like, what? It looks, <laughs> it looks like the one from Mega Mind. But so yes, right, okay. So I would say <laughs> definitely pick this guy up if you can. He's about twenty dollars, no twenty, about twenty pounds on uh, Forbidden Planet, which is where I got this guy from. Amazing paint, a uh, great sculpt. A little bit irritating about the hand, but I mean, this is a must get figure, it's an incredible. Thanks for watching the review, and I'll see you in the next video. I think it's captured the helmet and the design very nicely, and it's got Chris. Um, is it Chris? Yeah, it is Chris. Um, it's captured his likeness very well. Let's move into the articulation.